You're watching Seasons of Redemption with Prophet Peter Kojo Sego. So she had to be happy. She was always going to the hospital and the taking care of her brother to do plenty of oil from here. How many months? Many, many months. Going, going. I said, oh, God will have mercy on him. Give it to him. And I said, he was why? All the swollen, stomach swollen, legs swollen. They have all gone down. I forgot even about him because I'm also thinking about something like that. And then you were giving him oil. So which means you have become a prophet. And the dead has come. And you were preventing him not to go through your oil. So they will turn against you. So if you are not strong, ah! So if I, if I can pray for you, then God has made me stronger, I'm telling you. If I can pray for you and stand with you, uh, you pray too. Don't turn against me or your God. Because... I didn't charge you anything. Mama, sister, brother. And, and then later, small time, we'll pick you on top because I love you. And you turn against me. Look at that. Her own brother. She told me, you know, the, 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 the phone number, no one will come. The family in the village, they were all poor. He said, get about two people to go and bury him somewhere. So about two, three people. So I don't to connect to God and find a good church to join. Let the pastor get to know that I am here, his wife. And then get some dickens to know that you also are more. Get number. So that you can communicate. So that at least you create a new family. In case you are going to trouble, they can say, I, 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 I alone will drive the demons. I, I alone. I, I alone. They won't charge you. Oh, you can go for it, please. Can you pray with me? Tell prophets. No, okay. Okay, we also pray. Ah, then you, you are delivered. A group of people join them. So that they are God. They are God's protection will come upon you. Where two or three? We are many, many here. So where two or three have gathered in his name. What? What? He is what? In the midst of his people. We are many. So thank you very much. Look at that. So Joseph, as a prophet, interpreted that dream. He was also in prison, but he had that gift. So he was able to use it to interpret. And then, lo and behold, it came to pass that that guy, the butler, was restored. Philo called him. They came for him. They bathed, he bathed, and he dressed, he shaved, and then he was seven. The other one, they hung him. And then he said that he, in, the, in his dream, he had what? Uh, uh, basin on his head. And then bread was on the basin. And then birds of the egg came for the bread and ate it. And he said, you too, in three days, Philo will call you, and they will hang you and kill you. So check your dreams. Any dream that you dream is no good. Keep praying. Cast it. Bind. Rebuke. Me, when I get a bad dream, I say, no, oh, you are lying. I curse it. You see, I do not want my focus to go on negative. I say, I curse these dreams. And I marry. And I marry. <laughs> but uh, as for you, you go everywhere on the internet discussing with people. I had a dream. People call me from, from uh, America. That those days, I, I needed money to buy brog and whatever. They would call me. So, Mama, how are you? I said, mm, fine, but I had a dream. Oh. Dream number one. I had five dreams. He said, I should interpret. And then the card will finish. They used to cut. Card will finish. And they will call me. And then it, it will cut. But 20 minutes. And they will call again. It will cut. I said, ah. Then I begin to insult her. First, I came on the phone to the Benizi. Number one, pay more. And that was better. So, down to buy credits and you spend on dream, nonsense dream. Namuzo ekwamizam. Jesus Christ said, there's more blessing in giving than what? None to receive. So give it to a person. No more more people. No, until what you not No until what you have you known that Bible says in the book of Proverbs. Even if the person hates you, is taken to prison. I'm a briber. We put a briber, no. We change the man. So for you to get the heart of the prophet is what is to give it to him. Tell me, no, I don't know, no one pay Simple.
when you have it. When you have it. If you don't have it, no, you should wait. Because Elisha told the servant, is it time to see what gift? It's not time. So give me another one. Second Samuel 16, verse 12. But we are ready from 8. We are ready from 8 to 12. So you can have a show. Thank you very much. We are just supporting the, the team so that you understand and connect to your life. Connect it because you are spending about two hours here before everything is done and then you go and rest. So connect it. Want to go? The Lord hath returned upon thee. Return here means restored upon thee all the blood of the house of what? Saul. This is about when Absalom and the, all men in Israel, he warned them all the young men, the, all the men in Israel, Jerusalem, this boy warned their heart. And people went and told their father in the palace that oh, uh, Absalom has declared himself king. Even Joah was with him. And all that guy who was what? A priest was also with him. Because on the in kingship, if two men two noble men were around a young man, huh, they can win the whole nation for the young man. And then quickly David decided to leave palace. Because if Absalom came with all the men, all the men in Ghana to go to palace, they can kill him. He was battle strategist. So he left and took the battle to the wish. And they came. When they came, they didn't see him. Then then his nephew, his cousin called Anutafer, who was council of state to, to David, was, was, was part of the show, Absalom, the David's son. And then Absalom said, Anutafer, so my father is not here, so we, can, we could not kill anybody, so what do you have to do? He says, go and sleep with all his wives, concubines, go and sleep with them. And, so, and then Absalom said, oh, it's a good idea. So he went there and slept with all of them in the open space. Are them the store building somewhere, and then uh, David has left. When David was going, some people were cursing him. Oh, where Jim paying a bomb? Uh -huh. I only come saw because Mount Geba was far away from Jerusalem, so people could assume that it was David because there was a division between them, maybe NBC and MPP. So if somebody died, they didn't know. Oh, uh, uh, you are a bad man. Now that's why your son is paying you back. The way Saul went, went, you two, you go. And then they will cast dust. We'll put a water to our hands, stone. They go, David, go. And the men around, they said, what? This is a king for Israel. What has he done? And then David said, leave him if God has allowed him. That time David was not only even a photo. If God has allowed him to, for people to curse him because of his son, he leaves everything into the hands of God. And he was going with all the maids, maid servants and maid servants. All of them, they found one cute long one. And they were going, all the loved ones came to join him. And they were all going. Some priests also joined him. They went and went and went to Winneba. And they were going from Accra. And they went and hide somewhere. And then they heard that somebody ran from Paris and told the father that this is what Absalom has done. And then in the end, this is what happened. Let's read on again. The Lord had returned upon thee. Somebody is cursing David. Eh? All the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead thou hast reigned. And the Lord has delivered the kingdom into the hand of, of what? Absalom thy son. And behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Meanwhile, he was not a, a bloody man. So, see, when you are enjoying life, not be busy with life a pet. Quickly, you get enemies who can stand up to speak against you. Meanwhile, no, your hands are clean. Quickly, when you are sick, when things are tough, you put that, you talk to that they should stand with you and support you. Also. Yeah, paying a bond. She, she can be nice with you, but behind you, she will tell her daughter, paying a bond. Now, brother, no, oh, you are Meanwhile, no, no, also, it's a, hey. When nothing has happened to you, you have cars and money, you do part every day. Everybody is suffering. But when something happened to you, your house is burnt or something. Say, hey! Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. And let's read on, let's read on, let's read on, let's read on. We have wrote it. Okay, okay. One to go. Then said Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, unto the king. He was close to the king. He was working with the king. Abishai but was a, a brother to our king, Joab, mm -hmm. the commander of David's army. Okay, one to go. Why should this dead dog, that guy, dead dog, curse my lord the king? Go on. 
let me go over and pray him and take off his head. Just tap God the other night, he can tap his head. The man had been restored to reign. David reigned over Israel over 40 years or so. He reigned many years. But his son was infused with demons. And he was envious about his father's throne. He was coming to take the throne from him. And many people turned against him. Right now, may God forbid, even if something happened to me, will you say, so, oh, he's a man of God, he hasn't done anything. As soon as man of God began to go to something, people assume that, mm -mm, maybe he, he has something. But every day, it's not sin. When you go through something, it's not always sin. When you want a child, the child is not coming. It's not always sin. Elizabeth, it didn't sin. But yet, no baby before it came. Hannah was not sin. No baby, but it came. Huh? Sarah was not sin. Sarah married a prophet called what? What? Abraham. And yet, God said, I promise you, Abraham, I'll give you a son. It took 25 years, but it came. God knows what he is doing. So leave your, leave, put your life into the hands of God and let God handle it. Look at that. Okay, let's continue. Want to go? Want to go? And the king said, what have I to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah, which is Abishai? So let him curse, because the Lord has said unto me, unto him, curse David. Who shall then say, well of that has thou done so? Which means, don't do him anything. Through suffering, enemies will be exposed. No welcome. If he won't go restore me back to my kingdom, then who know? Listen. So we are finished. Uh -huh. Give me 11 and 12. Why don't you go? And David said to Abishai, Abishai is a very good person, mm -hmm. and to all his, his servants, Behold, my son, which came forth of my bowels, never asked that, or would he no, my bowels, seek at my life, how much more now may this Benjamin do it? People cursing him, let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has bidden him. If God has allowed him, let him do it. Even after this, when David was dying, he told his son Solomon, Solomon, dealing with this guy that when Absalom was chasing him, the guy who cursed him, he said, make sure that he, he doesn't rest with his father's in peace. Make sure that you do what? You cut off his head before he die. He mentioned some few guys who in his life, they gave him a tough time because he was a king. He rose over the whole Ojobi. He rules over the whole Ghana. And those days, the battle was physical, so they go kill. This time the battle is in the spirit, so you can't kill. You kill in the spirit. <clears throat> he didn't pay them back. But when he was dying, he told his son to do what? To pay them back. Okay. Verse 12. Want to go? It may be, David was, it may be that the Lord will look on my affection, my micro if I don't fight and kill anybody, if I kill a baby, it will compound more trouble. It may be that God will look, will use my quietness, my affection, and do what? And that the Lord will request me good for his cursing this day. Which means, your son is after you. And he showed that one cousin in the way, I handle kissing your brother, paying the bond, and show me. And so if you go and kill us, you have to use wisdom. And he has grown as an old man. Because this time, it's not somebody a stranger. Your, own, your, your son is after your kingdom. Thank you very much. And God saved him when you read the whole show. Absalom was dead. I mean, God, because he prayed and asked forgiveness, and then God turned everything against Absalom. He died. And all men of Israel, they fled into their tent. Even many, all the men that followed Absalom. There was battle between Joab, Joab and, and, then, and then Joab's people who were supporting David and also Absalom's people. And then many of the men died. They, they fought in the bamboo area. Bamboo. The bamboo killed many of them. The bamboo, like a, a timber area. They were going hate. When they ran, they were going hate. They died because they were not experienced people in the battle. So they died. 22,000. Many of them really died. The rest different. So never follow the wrong person. Never follow the wrong person. 
Don't fight the one that God has made me leader. Let God handle him, not you, so that God may restore all of us. Amen. Thank you very much. You're watching Seasons of Redemption with Prophet Peter Kojosego. God is with you. It's, it's, uh, something I wanted to develop in you. Lord, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any spiritual thing that could develop into negative, I curse it. And I, I harass any evil activity against her life. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, have me on her and take me care for her. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you. Which of, of, of the time or of the year you were eating and then there was like a nail in the foot and then you nearly swallowed but you brought it out? Which of the time? You swallow, you never swallow a nail or something. Something like metal in the food, you brought it out. You don't remember? I don't remember, but I dreamt that someone was injecting me with my lower abdomen. All right. You are safe, you are safe. Lord, any form of choking, whether physical and spiritual, I curse it. Any form of injection, anybody has organized for you to go ahead of your children who are to be born after marriage. May the Lord vindicate and break the hands of the devil from the house where you are living. Whoever has seen your beauty, your glory, your future, and trying to do something, may God intervene for you. I pray, break the hands of Satan. And the work of the devil, in Jesus, much your name. And as I anoint you, may God restore the years, restore the blessings, restore the good job, restore the marriage, restore the good heart, restore the energy you need, restore peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. May favor be around you as you are sending your CV. Yes, you are being connected to a good job. From next month, September, I prophesy in Jesus' name. I pray the battle is over in Jesus' name. see her face. Since she started coming, I haven't seen her face. She has bowed her head like this. Uh, I wish you raise your face. Uh, maybe it's a visitor. So maybe I'll pray for you so that I don't disturb you. Mm -hmm. Because somebody should have taught you how to do things. Eh? So I'll pray for you. And then maybe I don't want to say this because of mm, because where you are coming from, you have a, your the battle you are going through as a, a connection with Volta region. Eh? There's a village in the Volta region. And they are taking your glory and many, many things. So I don't know how you can handle it. Mm -hmm. You want to go to school. You did well. You want to school, but there's an idol somewhere over there. I am from Sekinit, Tapali, I'm in Accra. But you, they've established you over there in, in the, in the water. Mm -hmm. And they've set up many, many, many things. But like, they don't want you to, the Ibo Spirit said that they don't want you to have a tattoo. They want you to, like, uh, they can permit you to have boyfriend to give you a child, but they don't want you to have husband and money, whatever. That's it. So it's a battle from your daddy. So it's a daddy who is the cause of all that, that you have been through. And so you are suffering, so you, are, you cry, and then, and then your daddy gave you husband in the spirit to marry you when you were 18 years old. So this whole band, social urban, I've been with you for many years now. So I want to bring it down because I don't know you anywhere, but I don't know how you can receive me and then the, the message. So I'm trying to just give you the point so that you know you think through. Mm -hmm. So libation pouring, idol worship. They worship the tree and water. Mm -hmm. With a white robe, white, what got cross at the time of the tree, white cloth, and something in bows 
in a, a small room somewhere. It's true. But as for you, you are a Christian. You have known the light. You have known the Lord. But they are holding your marriage and the blessings that God has for you. Somebody promised to marry you a long time. Somebody who traveled to abroad found to marry you. And they messed up the man. And the person came. Also wanted to, like, as the person is working in the government. Somebody try who is like your mate. Try that. And oh, they mess him up. So, what, what else again? So, uh, you will be calling them out, uh, they won't take the call. Shouldn't. So, uh, uh, what can you do? So, wh what can I, I do for you? Should deliver me. Uh, man of God can't deliver anybody. So, uh, use your words well. God deliver me from Okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, why she is, I'm asking a question. No? I'm examining her more. Maybe you, you never know. I want to know her more. I want to know whether she's interested or just because somebody says come to church. Well, convention for all this. Now, Holy Spirit, if you have an Abba, it will be unbrave, you know, Amaji Ishra. Because when the convention is going on, no? the energy here is very strong. The energy of the Spirit is very, very strong. Uh -huh. So he so, said so she wanted God to deliver her. And God will deliver her as well right now. God will deliver her right now, just 15 seconds. God will break the, that spiritual husband. And God will bring the marriage back to her, the good marriage. And God will give her five children. And with her own business. Her own business that will attract white people, black people, and white people all over the world. So, Holy Spirit, deliver her now. Curse every negativity, every false darkness. Lift it up. Just like that. Nine months. So marry. Nine months. So prosper. You are given to Jesus. So don't focus on, on prophets. They can't help you. Focus on Jesus. Who can use them to help you? Focus on Him. Give it to Him. Not prophets. Just like that, you are, they ask you a question. You open up. You use your faith. The woman up with the issue of blood. I love that woman in the Bible. How nobody preached to her, but the information she received about Christ's miracles developed faith in her, and she took a step, and she had a healing. That's why you are here. Somebody spoke about redemption at Saturday. Oh, so long coming. See, you came. Oh, what is in you is here. And then you say, Oh, I'll come. They don't charge. It's freedom. And whatever. <laughs> wow. Tonight, she will sleep like a baby.
give me one more toy. I have loved her spirit. She's my sister. Oh Lord. You organize five days program for all of us, Lord. And you're using human beings to speak to other fellow human beings because you are spirits. You are here, Lord. Let this testimony that you are giving to her come to pass. Protect and guide her. And may every yoke be broken, every chaff be bent by the fire of the Ghost. Restore all glory unto her. A good girl. Amen. It is done. My heart sings, oh, 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 oh. Bless you, Jesus, watching you. children they don't have husbands it's true lord remember this girl she has humbled her heart before you break every yoke the curse of the mother from her the curse of the mother about marriage may everything be broken marry and remarry lord give it to her 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 lord give her the miracle give her the miracle break every yoke Lift her up again. Take a time. Thank you, Lord. You see, how can I control her with the power in my hand? Jesus, break every yoke. Obi Biara was so soon at your baby a phone there while let a baby a little room. No, I should shut up on a cell, but don't go in my say. The PL will use a jacket to whoop your with destiny. Be a now is broken. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, destroy that woman. Jesus, watch your name. May God preserve your life so that you can enjoy a better life from today. So that the anointing on you could not be a waste. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Okay. You are free. Take care. You can go to the Facebook on your phone and see what I told God used me to tell you. You can go to Facebook on your phone right now and see what I told you. Okay. The 
there's a, a better life to live ahead of you. There's a bright future to live ahead. So if you can sacrifice your life to remain holy and anointed for God, despising any man, any boy who has come around and trying to worry you with money, and you are refusing, no, 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 no. And you can remain disciplined. The sky will be your limit. Amen. Be strong in the Lord. Eh? Don't give up and don't look at the other sisters who are giving birth one, 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 one child and they don't have a husband. Don't look at them. Make a date with our man of God, Prophet Peter Kojosego, as he directs your path to the kingdom of God. In Praise TV Fridays 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can also join us at our church auditorium, South Odoko, adjacent St. Anthony School, Sakaman. Wednesdays 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Last Friday of every month, half night, and Sunday service 7.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. For more details, please call 0555-241-303 or 0205-840-459. Worship with us and your life will never be the same again.